Welcome to the simple object designer for Business Central, introduction and walkthrough. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, the simple object designer is an app for Business Central that enables you to customize Business Central. It enables you to customize Business Central without having to write a single line of code. It enables you to customize Business Central without knowing how to write a single line of code. Um, all you need to do is to tell the program what you need, just like you would tell a developer what you need. Um, and in fact, it's almost like you're telling me what you need because what the simple object designer actually is doing is behind the scene is it will actually write the code as I would do it. So if you ask me to add a field, uh, I would program and, and add a field uh, if you ask the simple object designer to add the same field, it will do the exact same thing. Um, and that goes for all the different things that the object designer can do. Um, but actually, let me, let me show you. Um, here it is. So when you open the simple object designer the first time, you'll be taken through a, a, a setup process uh, to prepare uh, the, the designer and then you'll end up here at the main menu and we have four major main tasks that the object designer can do the first one is to add new fields to existing tables so maybe you are missing a field on the customer got so you would go in here and i know that the customer table is table 18 but i should search for it get a field number automatically. Um, I'll call this for visit date. And the field type should not be a decimal, it should be a date. We, so we got a bunch of different field types we can select. I will, I'll do this as a date. I'll make the, the, uh, the caption nice. What I also can do here is that I can now take this field and I can put it on a page. All the, play, pay, all the places where the customer is is on screen, I can make sure that this field is also on screen. I can uh, also do the same with reports. I can also transfer a field. And when I, when we talk about transfer, think about this, that you're on a customer and you have the, the information on a customer. Now you create an invoice or sales order. So you would like that, that field value to transfer onto the sales order. So you go here and say, okay, sales header, which is the data behind the sales order, the via the sell to, because it could also be through the bill to, but I'll do it through the sell for, I'll activate that. It tells me, uh, table header does not have a field called visit date. Should it be created? I say, sure. Um, I close this one and obviously now I have two fields because now the, the simple object design says, okay, if you want to transfer the value from customer sales setter, hey, I'll create it for you. You can take that even further and say, okay, I also want this, you know, when when we are shipping something, I want the field to go to the shipment header. I say yes to add a field. When I post, I want it on this invoice header, sure. And when I post a credit memo, I also, also want it there. Sure, I close, and now we have five new fields in five different tables, uh, and we have made sure that the field is walking, is moving through the system. Um, I haven't placed any of these. Of course, you would go in and say, where do you want the, this field to show up on the screen? I'll show you how to do that in a second. So that's the first thing, that you can, you can create new fields. Um, but Sometimes you also end up in a situation that there are existing fields that are just not available the way you would like it. So you can go in and say, okay, I want to add an existing field um, to a screen. So we could search for customer and say, we have the weird search name field. Uh, let's place this uh, on, uh, on the customer card. So we can go in and say, place on pages. Now, Business Central or the object designer analyze all the places where the customers are actually, the customer 
record is used. We can see the customer card and the list, and there's a lookup and statistics and sales. And then it gets weirder and weirder as the number of the pages increases. Um, but maybe we just want it on the customer card. So we say, hey, we want it add after. So let's define where to add it. So now we get all the fields and say, okay, let's add it uh, right after name two. So we can see now, now this field has been placed on one page. We can, it's, reports work the same way. So after you have placed a field on a report, you're not really here, you're not really placing it on the report, I mean, not on the paper, but you're placing it in the data set of the report. So now you can, after it has been placed, you can go into custom report layouts and the field will be available for you to put on the paper. The third thing you can do is that we can expose data as web service APIs. Business Info has always been able to expose uh, pages as web services, um, but we got a more efficient version of web services called an API. And if you are using Excel, if you're using Power BI or other reporting tools that are pulling a lot of data, it's much better to have a dedicated API endpoint. It's much faster uh, and, and you avoid the risk of if you're exposing a piece of UI and then the UI changes and then suddenly your reports are not working the way they used to work. If you're using, if you're exposing a standard Microsoft page and Microsoft decides in the next uh, version to remove a field or change something in, in how that page works, then your reports might, your Power BI reports might no longer work. But you can expose anything as an API. I can again select customer here and tell that I need the number field, the name, search name, name to the city. Uh, what should we go with? Uh, we can get some numbers down here and say net chains and sales and profit. And that's it. This is the URL you'll put into uh, to, to Power BI Excel to, to grab the data. Um, and, and you're done. Well, it's not there yet because what we haven't done yet is actually publish the code, uh, the, the app that we're designing. So the last thing on, on the SAS list here is create new features. And what is a feature? Well, a feature is a brand new thing inside Business Central. Um, and, and what is a thing? What is a feature? Uh, well, we have it. This is what is, there, there's some lots of fancy words for it, but think about uh, that these are templates, meaning that we have uh, in, in this version, three templates available. One is a data tape. So if you want a table with something, you'll select the data table template and it will, the simple object is you, you define the, the fields that you want and the simple object design will then make sure that it creates a table, it creates a UI, it creates API if you need that for it. Um, so it creates all the things that are needed for a table to make sense. The second template we have is a, we call that for data related, related table. Um, think about attributes on items. Let's say you wanted to create attributes on customers. That would be a data related table that is related to the customer. Uh, and then you define the fields and, and, you, and if you want a fact box and all that good stuff and you're off to the races. The last one is, we call it document table. So think about a sales order uh, or something that has a header and lines. Uh, and in reality, somebody say, hey, but Eric, that's two tables. Sure, maybe more than two, but we don't care about that. You define what table, what fields you want where, and the object designer will figure out how to build the structure correctly behind the scene. We also have the, here, we have the concept of posting. So, so you can ask it to create a draft set, but also a, a poster set, and then there's a, it will program a posting function to take data from one to the, to another.
There are lots of videos on the channel showing how to create these. So I'll, I'll not do this in this video. And um, so, so when you're done with your customizations, uh, you're ready to publish because Right now we have just defined what we want. You have told the developer, this is what I want. I want these fields, I want this, these things that we have created, but you haven't really, you have not done it yet. You have only told what you want. So you would hit publish and say, we will publish to this environment. And now lots of stuff happens. First, programming takes place. So it creates all the program as if, and it creates the, the programming the same way I would do it if I were to program what you asked. Um, and when it's done programming, it, it, it's doing two things. First, it's downloading an app file, meaning that we can do this in a sandbox and then we can take the download. When we figure out everything is the way we would like, we can take the downloaded app and upload to our production environment. So you can. You can do your development with the object inside in a sandbox and then take it to production. Or you can just do everything in production if that's how you roll. Um, the object designer will do both. The other thing that's happening is what's happening on screen right now is that now we're also deploying the app to this environment that we're in. And this is my test box, so there's lots of crazy stuff going on here. But the, the, the line we need to look at is actually the top line. And we can see that it's in progress. I hit a five and now it's completed, meaning that now this has been deployed. It's in live, it's there. Um, and um, if I were to go in and say, okay, now I need to do something more, you do whatever you want and you just publish again. If you at some point say, okay, now I want to do something that the object designer can't do. And that's, you know, that's lots of stuff that the object designer can't do. You're not stuck uh, because what you can do at the end, you can say, hey, download the source. And now it goes through the same process as before and downloads a zip file that is ready to take, give, give, hand it over to a developer or be adventurous and, 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 and try it yourself. Uh, but everything is here. It's written the exact same way as if it, it's written by me, just proxy that I have created a program that is writing the program. Um, but do check out uh, some of the uh, other videos or perhaps go to app source and, and download the object designer and, and, and try it out. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, and if you have any questions, um, let me know. Catch me on hogart.com or on Twitter or on YouTube, uh, whatever you find this. Uh, and until next time, have a wonderful day.